What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and for this video I'm here to share with you guys the three PlayStation Vita games that I picked up today. Not only that, I'm also going to show you guys some gameplay for all three as well. So let's go ahead and start. Obviously you've noticed right off the bat that the three games I got today are pre-owned. The reason they're pre-owned is because I had renewed my GameStop Rewards Pro membership and every time you do that you get a printable coupon for a buy two get one free on all pre-owned products in the store and so i use that coupon to get three new vita games to my collection so anyways let me go ahead and show you guys what games i got so that way you guys get straight into the gameplay the first one is dungeon hunter alliance it's an rpg game uh, dungeon crawler you can think of it as kind of like diablo in a way that's what a lot of people compared it to but uh, I played the demo, it's really fun. This game is also on the PS3. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper if you get it on the PS3 as a digital download. But you guys know me, I like physical content of games and of course that's why I got it. So it features one to four players, two to four co-op. It also uses the motion sensors, basically all the gimmicks that the Vita has. The rear and touch screen as well, multi-touch. And this is actually the first time I noticed this on any of my Vita games, which is parental control supported. So I'm not too sure what that is about. I guess if you don't want the blood in the game or something like that. But um, yeah, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's basically an RPG dungeon crawler. So you kind of think of it as like a Diablo game. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoy this game. So it's definitely well worth picking up. Or you could try out the demo and check it out for yourself. The demo starts you off at level 5 and you go up to level 10. It's a really fun game. So I have that now in my collection. The other two games. Um, by the way, I paid... Um, $17.99 for this one with the pro card and the other one I paid for is this one right here as you can tell I don't have cases for these two because they don't have any empty Vita cases nor any standard cases if I recall last time I went into the store they had plenty of cases for this one the uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus 2 but fortunately th today they didn't have any cases so I think some people you know, some people go into the store and basically take the cases or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. But anyways, the second game, as I stated, is Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma Plus. And uh, this is actually a really good game on the Vita. Let me go ahead and uh, give you guys a closer look. Let me go ahead and fix the focus. Really nice game looking card. I would read you the whole uh, information about the game. But as you can tell, I have no case for that. But you guys are going to see a little bit of gameplay here in just a, a couple minutes. And the one I got for free, I had two choices because my local GameStop, they don't have a wide variety of used Vita games. They only have a small selection. And it was either I get Resistance, Burning Skies, or Hot Shots Golf. And, but I don't really play golfing games, nor do I care for the sports games at all. Those are the type of games I don't play. But So I got Resistance, Burning Skies. Here is the uh, cartridge. Really nice looking cover. Uh, I do have the Resistance games on the PS3. I have the whole set, so now I have the Vita copy. So can't wait to see how this one is. So anyways, those are the three games that I picked up. A really good deal with the buy two, get one free. And uh, let me go ahead and bring you guys some gameplay. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. But before I do that, let me go ahead and just give you guys a quick up-to-date of my Vita collection as of this video. So we have Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Resistance Burning Sky, Ninja Gaiden 2, uh, Sigma Plus, or however you want to say it, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, Metal Gear Solid HD, which has like five games in one, Soul Sacrifice, Wipeout 2048, Uncharted Golden Abyss, Unit 13, Lego Lord of the Rings, and as for digital games, I have, bring this over here, as for digital games, I have Dragon's Crown, Raymond Origins, Stealth Incorporated, and the new one I just got today to review, which I can't show you guys gameplay in this video because it's under embargo, but it's called Dive Kick. I'm not sure how many of you heard of it, but I have Dive Kick right here. But I can't show you guys gameplay, otherwise I get in trouble. 
and then uh, that's pretty much it so anyways i'm going to go ahead and let the video play for in terms of the gameplay but if you guys have any questions feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and of course remember gamer fusion empowers your gaming all right here is the ninja gaiden 2 sigma plus so let's go ahead and begin around the five minutes of gameplay So, let me get this straight. Let me see here. You don't have a clue where I can find Ryu Hayabusa? No one knows where a ninja goes. If he isn't at the Hayabusa village, he could be halfway around the world. Sonia, was it? Do you have business with Ryu? I do. And what might that be? All I'll say is that it concerns the Archfiend. The Archfiend. Okay. 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 Bye. Why do people always want to call every time I'm trying to fucking record? <laughs> I'm gonna skip the cutscene so we go straight into some more gameplay. Getting my ass
So pushing R leads you to the right path. These are the safe points. All right, so uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. Looks so uh, impressive on the Vita, and uh, I heard this one was actually really good. So um, if you guys want some more gameplay, let me know in the comment section down below, and stay tuned for the next game. All right, so here is Resistance Burning Skies. I kind of like skipped ahead a little bit until we got a weapon. It just took a little bit of time, but um, so let's go ahead and begin the five minutes of gameplay starting now. And so far from just the brief moment of it, uh, I was actually really impressive. Actually, I'm kind of just so you're not seeing this big old reflection of my face, especially in the dark segments. So that should be uh, good, but basically you didn't miss much. Uh, I went into this abandoned building I found a bunch of dead bodies everywhere, and then one of my teammates died, and then I picked up this weapon. It's pretty much where I am. Visually, it's not that bad looking. Approach the outside corners to take high cover. Alright. So you do have corner cover, that's good. And you could just uh, use the D pads over here to just peek out. Oops. I thought I was going to take damage from that.
fine, Tommy. You sure? Yeah, no. I'm fine. <coughs> Maybe we should call it in. Yeah, good idea. Dispatch. This is engine 174. Do you know what's going on? It's gotta be some sort of drill. Is there somewhere we should go? And here is Dungeon Hunter Alliance, so let's go ahead and start. This, this game was made by Gameloft and published by Ubisoft. We're going to select story mode. Let me go ahead and fix the focus here. Alright, so there's uh, the single player and multiplayer. New character. In terms of characters, you have the wizard. Uh, I mean, not wizard, mage. Uh, his skill is energy. You have the warrior, which is in strength. And the rogue, which is dexterity. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the warrior. I'm just going to enter a random name. Um, let's put hell. And continue. Oh, it's already become so hard to remember the former majesty of Castle Gothicus. This is where it all began. On that day, all of the peasants, nobility, and fairies gathered together to celebrate the union of their prince and his darling beloved. But struck down by a sudden illness, his betrothed quickly died on should have been the happiest day of their lives. Full of sorrow and pain, the prince refused to accept that death could separate them. Behind the backs of his advisors, he made use of the darkest arts, destroying the barrier between life and death with unspeakable rituals. And when the darkness awoke, evil flooded over the land. She grabbed a dagger and plunged it deep he cried out in remorse. His anguish can still be heard as it echoes throughout the devastated human and fairy worlds. We have decided that he is the only one who can right the wrong he had so naively committed. Alright, so that was the introduction. Pretty interesting. I played the demo for this and I actually really enjoyed it. It has that like cartoonish look to it. Sorry for the reflection. It's during the daytime. Usually I record Vita gameplays at night. Uh, that's how I don't get that reflection during those ones. But I um, just want to get this done out of the way. I'm trying to hide over here in the corner so you're not seeing too much of my reflection. So over here, um, you're either going to get like people talking or you can have little cinematics where they, uh, you know, basically you read the prompts. So I'm just skipping the dialogue here so we can get into some gameplay because it's already three minutes in. Alright, first triangle to skip. Over here is going over the controls. You have a lot of touchscreen controls. For example, this uh, floating fairy, you could use the rear touch panel, which I'm doing right now. See my hands are right here, not on the joysticks. And you can move the uh, fairy all the way around. My hands are kind of sweaty, so it's not that uh, responsive. So as you can see, you move the fairy around. Or you could use the analog stick. And then over here, you have like a bunch of customization. Every time you level up, you could increase your strength, dexterity, endurance, and energy. Your inventory, what, what I like about this is that you can see what you have currently equipped and then do a comparison between the two. You have a ton of skills for your characters, uh, abilities for your fairies, and then a quest log. So I'm going to go ahead and just get a new weapon. You use right to interact with stuff and pick up items and you use the left trigger to use your potions. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and quit my new weapon. I'm going to go ahead and use this axe. It's a two-handed weapon. I'm 
pretty much in the beginning you're gonna be a, um, sl slashing your enemies way. I just received a trophy right there. As the game continues on, it does get a bit, you know, harder, especially with the boss fights. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I had to give my brother his pills. Or I just record a little bit more so you can see a little bit more of the combat. But uh, visually, this game is nice. It has like kind of a, a cart cartoonish look to it. Alright. Alright, she's talking. Interacting with something. I'm pushing the uh, sugar, but nothing's happening. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Is that it? No. I don't know what you want, fairy. <laughs> Alright, well that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And uh, stay tuned for more.